So let's talk about the Chebyshev's polynomial. So let's say we can write about cosine in theta. Let's see how it becomes. So when it comes to pulse, say for example theta, and it is nothing but cos theta, alright? So basically, we should not write it only theta equal to cos theta, right? Cos function of theta <laughs> equal to cos theta, right? We write it here 1 into theta, right? So now when it comes to cos 2 theta, what we write? We write it here as in 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Alright. So when it comes to cos 3 theta, we write it down as in 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. But we get stuck when it comes to like cos 4 theta. This is problematic because we cannot memorize all the values of cos 6 function, I mean, of cosine function, right? So, so definitely here plays the actual role of the Chebyshev's polynomial. So, let's, let's derive the actual values of it. But when it comes to cos O theta, like O into theta, O times theta, which means Cos 0, we do not write it only cos 0, we write it only 1, which values it gets here as in. This is pretty certain here, we can write it as in cos in theta becomes trigonometric function of n times trigonometric function of cos theta. This is a function, trigonometric function. So, now let's talk about how it functions in a way. So, say for example, if we write it down as in cos n theta equal to t times n r uh, t times um, function of cos theta, just say for example, cos n plus 1 theta. Oh, we just elevated the values of n as in n plus 1 theta. So, then we get, then we get that is cos n theta plus theta. So, we understand, we know the values of the actual the formula of cos n theta plus theta. So, this leads us to cos n theta cos theta minus sin n theta sin theta right all right so now we can simply write it down as in like cos n theta cos theta minus sin n theta sin theta then we can just write it down as in cos n theta cos theta here it is negative all right, then we we need to find out something which is more negative to two. I mean, I mean uh, which is another negative part or counterpart of cos n theta cos theta, which is e is what's positive. Then we can just write it down as in like then again plus cos n theta cos theta. All right, then again to balancing for the for the purpose of the balancing, so cos n theta cos theta. Then, as per before, we can write it down as in sine th sine n theta sine theta. All right. So after that, or well, here it is one cos n theta cos theta plus cos n theta cos theta. Then we can write it down as in two two cos n theta cos theta. But here we can get a common of minus then cos n theta cos theta plus sin n theta sin theta after that so you read the boundary all right so after that we can get to cos theta cos theta minus cos n theta minus theta. Well, this sounds tasty. 
when you write it down in such way cos n theta cos theta minus cos n minus 1 theta right all right so understand one thing since we have written n plus 1 theta definitely it has become t n plus 1 cos theta so certainly what we have got is this is t n plus 1 cos theta equal to 2 cos n theta cos theta and cos n minus 1 theta so let's apply this formula in this particular expression all right so as it says 2 cos n theta this is n plus 1 theta so n theta means before something so 2 cos theta so if i write it in a such way as in cos theta cos n theta i hope i would not be a criminal all right so now let's see cos 4 theta which means i can write it like cos theta to cos theta and it says cos n theta this is a function of cos n plus 1 but we have got that is cos n theta n theta means before something so cos n theta is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta all right then minus minus cos n minus 1 theta here n is 4 all right n minus not only that here n plus 1 so that means um before one and another before another that is um like we can say 2 cos square theta minus 1 so then what we get that is 2 i mean 8 cos to the power 4 theta all right so 8 cos to the power 4 theta minus 6 cos square theta minus 2 cos square theta minus 1. So here we can get 8 cos to the power 4 theta minus 8 cos square theta minus 1. So here we have uh, the actual value of cos 4 theta all right this is the formula of it but one fact you need to understand that uh, that that is so interesting here so uh get us the the coefficients the values of that coefficients then 8 minus 8 and finally here we find a 1 uh, uh, uh. so as it is a minus this would be plus plus so the coefficients the summation of coefficients will be one always so we can write it down as in the sum of coefficients will be one so which is to say this is a fact all right so in such way we can simply get the value of cos 5 theta so what is that so if we write it down here or evolve it so let's write it down cos 5 theta what would it be so 2 cos theta and beforehand that is cos in theta what is cos 4 theta so we will write the value of cos 4 theta all together 8 cos 4 theta minus 8 cos square theta plus 1 minus cos n minus 1 theta so this is before uh, cos 4 theta and before that and that is cos 3 theta's value minus 4 
cos cube theta minus cos 3 cos theta. All right. So let's see what we get. From here, we have got cos 5 theta equal to cos 5 theta equals to 2 cos, I mean 16 cos to the power 5 theta minus 16 cos cube theta plus 2 cos theta minus 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta okay let's begin with it all right so then we can just get started with the values of it is it will be 16 16 cos 5 16 cos 5 theta minus minus this would be 20 cos cube theta and and this should be plus 3 cos, cos theta plus t cos theta now it would be 5 cos theta so what we have got so how we can get the Chebyshev's polynomial so let's see we have wiped out all these things so now here we can just write it down again the value of cos 5 theta cos 5 theta equals to 16 cos 5 theta minus 20 cos cube theta plus 5 cos theta all right so now let's say we want the value of value of half from this cos phi theta so half we want the half equal to cos phi theta all right so let's write it down since if we write it as in uh, which is which is one two and we can get the value pi by 3 all right pi by 3 all right this is pi by 3 uh, all right so we want the value of half then we can just write it down as in 5 theta equal to pi by 3 which is 5 pi by 3 then we can just write it down as in um, 9 pi by 3 then simply we can just write as in 13 pi by 3 dot 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 all right then we can just write it as in theta equal to pi by 15 and pi by 3 so it would be 3 pi by 5 all right and 13 pi by 15 dot 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 okay so what we are getting now so if the theta's value is as, as in we have shown here so the equation can be in such a way all right so then we can just consider if theta's be in such way we can just write it down as in half equals to 16x to the power 5 minus 20x cube minus 5x. So, this is the beautiful Chebyshev's polynomial or we can just simplify it as in as in um, 1 equals to or 32x to the power 5 minus 40x cube minus 10x equals to 1 so there you go this is the formula and this is the Chebyshev's polynomial we can consider 
So this is the equation we were looking for. So this is the fun of mathematics. Mathematics is first we can just consider it. So this is the fun part of this mathematics. We can just consider it is as a this particular equation is so beautiful in a way we can get from trigonometry. You can use this championship polynomial in so many ways if you want. So this is the beauty of mathematics. So let's discover the actual beauty of mathematics.